The 2016 model year is here, and you know what that means. I'm reviewing the 2016 Toyota Corolla S and the 2016 Honda Civic EX. Here are some of the features of this comparison test to take note of. Firstly, the car pictured on screen may not be the exact trim I'm comparing. For example, the video is comparing the EX version of the Civic, but on screen it may show an LX, EXL, or any other trim. Also, I use a numerical points value system to assess the cars, and points will be assigned at the end of the video. These are some of the best-selling models in each manufacturer's lineup, and rightfully so, seeing as these small sedans give you a lot of value considering the money. We'll begin with the Civic. The EX trim line comes standard with a moonroof and smart entry. Smart entry unlocks the car as soon as the driver comes within 32 inches of the driver door, allowing the driver to enter the car and drive away without ever touching the key. The car will lock as soon as the driver is out of range as well. Further features included on the EX trim are heated mirrors, push-button start, a backup camera with guidelines, and Honda Lane Watch. Lane Watch uses a left-wing, mirror-located camera to help drivers monitor their blind spot. The image plays on a screen on the center console when the system or turn signal is activated. Speed-sensitive volume control is self-explanatory, as is a texting function and Pandora capability. Apple CarPlay or Google Android Auto is also standard on the Civic EX for the first time. These systems come from Apple iOS and Android operating systems for the infotainment instead of in-house developed systems. Honda Link also comes standard, which basically pairs your phone to give access to it in the vehicle. The screen and the dash that all of this displays on is a 7-inch color touchscreen. This rounds off the significant features in the Civic, so let's move on to the Corolla S. The Corolla has standard LED headlights with halogen high beams. The Corolla has heated mirrors as well. With this car, though, they're also powered instead of manually adjusted. Noticeably absent is a moonroof, a big miss for some buyers, although it is on the option list. The Corolla gets 17-inch alloy rims, while the Civics are 1-inch smaller. And instead of Apple or Android operating systems, the Corolla stays with Entune Audio, which tries to achieve much the same thing, though it doesn't come with Sirius XM, and the touchscreen is only 6.1 inches. A similar key system is used in the Corolla, like that of the Civic, again with a backup camera, standard. The Corolla starts at $19,995, while the Civic comes in at $21,040. That sums up value, so now I'll tackle MPG. The Corolla achieves 29 miles per gallon in the city and 37 on the highway, which pales in comparison to the Civic's 31 city and 41 highway numbers. For two cars that are so close, those numbers are quite different. Safety is very important in vehicles like these. Both come with the standard array of airbags and monitoring systems and the now common stability and traction control. The Corolla, however, has received a score of marginal in one element of IIHS crash testing, while the Civic got a good. The Civic is a top safety pick, and the Corolla is not, which is also significant. The styling of the new Civic is bolder and more attractive than the previous car. The exterior of the Corolla isn't horrible, but I like the Civics better. As far as interiors go, the Civic takes the cake by a small margin owing to the better-looking materials used on the dash. The Civic EX has not been tested in terms of acceleration, However, estimates fall about 8.7 seconds to hit 60 miles per hour in 16.4 quarter mile time. The Corolla has a dismal 10.5 second crawl to 60, driving a quarter mile in a leisurely 17.4 seconds. Poor results are caused by a poor drivetrain, a place where the Corolla is long in the tooth. It has a 1.8 liter inline four cylinder with 132 horsepower and 128 pound-feet of torque, compared with a CVT that hunts for fuel economy instead of best performance. Seeing as how the Civic's 2-liter 4-cylinder is good for 158 horsepower and 138 pound-feet, as well as getting better mileage out of its CVT, Toyota needs to take notes. Based on the history of the two cars, the reliability of each will remain better than average for the Corolla and average for the Civic. 
Hopefully the 10th generation Civic can bring dependability up. Here are the results of the comparison. Keep in mind that the 2016 Civic is an all-new model, while the Corolla dates back to 2014. However, the Civic is the clear victor here.